Assalamualaikum and uh, Salam Shastra. My name is Shafiq. On behalf of Group 6, I'll be doing the kickoff for this assignment number 2 presentation. And this is for the subject of markets and financial institution, year 2023. And the lecturer will be, or the lecturer was uh, Dr. Shahjarul Inna Muhammad Amin. And for this particular assignment, uh, our team has selected the journal article with the title of uh, A Future Malaysian Banking Landscape in Embracing IR 4.0, A New Leadership Model. Uh, this journal was uh, authored by two persons, uh, Sarah Shahuruddin and Muhammad Muayza Musa. As I mentioned earlier, um, this is a group effort. Myself is Muhammad Shafiq bin Mota. I'll be covering uh, the first front of this presentation. And my clique, uh, Muhammad Amirul, Zofika, Ame, Chu, Adam Fitri, will be covering the rest of the uh, presentation as well. Let us begin with article synopsis. In our finding or in our um, assessment, the article synopsis uh, presented in this paper is quite uh, detailed and quite comprehensive. It does cover the problem research statement that indicate uh, or, or reported Industrial Revolution 4.0 or known as IR 4.0 has generated an impact to the banking sector of Malaysia and uh, there is an influence uh, to the type of leadership uh, that required uh, on this uh, in IR 4.0. So that will be problem and research statement. Moving on, on the research objective itself, this paper have mentioned uh, they would like to investigate and propose the type of leadership required to be implemented by banking sector organization. In terms of research contribution, uh, this paper is trying to contribute to the leadership style uh, in view of IR, IR 4.0 in banking sector. Uh, research methodology used was the survey among the leaders in banking industry. In terms of result, uh, there were four elements of leadership models, names as leadership 4.0 proposed. Research implication would be a new leadership model to Malaysia banking sector in view of IR 4.0 which is leadership 4.0 that mentioned earlier. Well, moving on to the research title, um, the title selected was comprehensive. However, we also believe, and uh, after our assessment, the title uh, does cover the whole topic uh, that being used, but there are certain usage of the words such as future Malaysia banking landscape and new leadership model are too generous, uh, perhaps to overclaim in, in certain element of uh, 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 title selection in in, uh, in this particular journal. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about that in the later of the presentation by uh, Maya Dikli. Thanks. Assalamualaikum, Dr. Imna. I'm Zulfika Arsad. will be present about research originality and contributions. Firstly, we go to the research originality. This research paper belongs to the replication of multiple existing work, which is Industrial 4.0 and impacts toward the industry and leadership have been popular research among the accommodation and industry. This research came with modification on elements and further strengthening on the observation recorded and also the proposal. The hypothesis and the theories were not detailed down in this paper, only a significant modification observed was on the element of the leadership selected, but it's still replication from others already established element. Okay, secondly, we said about the new finding and the significant information from these features. From this research paper, we could conclude the finding is not a new and does not contain the significant information in the all above area, with the exception on the basic implications. Referring to the new revolution IR 4.0 is required different skill set of leadership for organizations, banking sector is included too. As for example, it needs digital and technology literacy like cybersecurity and AI, also strategic thinking skill in the leaders. Next, we go to the previous research element. This is to see if the research will add value to the existing knowledge and contribu contribute to the enhancement of the fields. Our first finding is there are seven referencing to the previous research 
were mentioned in the literature review. Those are also mainly from leisure and Asia context of research. As such, the, tr the trueness and eloquency are sufficient. Second finding is important research that are relevant have been taken into account and mostly are recent. However, we found lacking of referencing to any well-known or more credible theory of leadership model, which is leadership 4.0. Third finding, observe also Arthur made a good referencing and citation format. It was easier and simpler for us to link to the reference using a number, like the in the bracket numbers. Hi, Dr. Imna. My name is Adam Fitri. I will be presenting on a research methodology of our selected article. Okay, in this uh, research methodology, we categorized into four, uh, four important subtopics. The first one is the concept, idea, and theory. So there are five discuss uh, concept and theory. The first one is a change management. The change management, which refers to the uh, strategy and process used to manage the organizational modification. Uh, it emphasized the need for Malaysian's banking industry to adopt new leadership model and effectively manage the change. The second one is the digital transformations, emphasize the idea of need to embrace digital technology to remain relevant and competitive. And the third one is the idea of Industry 4.0 itself, highlight the necessity for Malaysian banking to blend with the artificial intelligence, internet of things, and big data into industrial process. The fourth one is uh, the transformational leadership theory that inspire and motivate employees to embrace digital transform of 4.0 technologies. And the last one is the leadership model itself, which specify the requirement of model to focus on both digital transformations and 4.0 technology. Okay, we go to the second subtopic is the hypothesis of in this article. Okay, this, in, uh, this article hypothesizes the applications of new leadership model that prioritize digitalize uh, transformation and adoptions of industry 4.0 technologies will enable uh, Malaysian banking to remain competitive and meet evolving needs of customer. It assumed they will facing increasing of pressure to adopt digital technology. Okay, the third, uh, we go to the method used in this res uh, research. From the design itself, this research actually used qualitative method. For the sampling in this study, the author conducted some interview and also focused on a group uh, discussion. This is we call judgmental or purposing sampling, which involves participants based on expertise, experience, and relevant to research questions. For the data collections itself, it's actually it come from semi-structured interview and group discussion and data analysis. Uh, we uh, the the research actually analyzed using key themes, key themes and patterns called thematic analysis, as well as document analysis. In this method, there are some ethical considerations, include obtaining consent from participant, uh, ensuring confidential and conducted in manner that respectful and sensitive to cultural cultural context. The last one in the in this research methodology is uh, scientific value that applicable in this research. The first one is a uh, universal universalizability or we call generaliz generalizability that involve proposing sample which author select participant with diverse background experience and perspective. The second scientific application is a rationality, or we call it uh, the validity of the study, which author used the interview, focus group, and document analysis to triangulate the finding.
and the third scientific uh, value is the reproducibility or we call it as a replicability this uh, replicability of study or to enabling other research uh, other researchers to duplicate the study by providing detailed descriptions of method of method including data collection and analysis uh, procedure and the last scientific application is uh, reliability or dependability which are author use uh, to standardize uh, procedure for data collections and use multiple conducts to analyze data uh, evidence and the reliability and the last one is to conduct member checking where participants ask to review the finding to ensure the accuracy. Assalamualaikum, I'm Amir. I will explain on the uh, result and finding of the research. <clears throat> in, in, in this research result, uh, the author has clearly stated that uh, the change of the organization towards IR 4.0 in banking sector is consists of from disruptive drive, human touch, sense of urgency and continuous learning. Uh, based on the result accuracy, author has uh, analyzed this finding only based on the survey among the leaders in banking industry. But there is no uh, any graphical presentation like a pie chart, graph, or table to represent uh, the research analysis. Uh, with the graphical presentation, reader will get more better understanding on the research uh, result. Uh, based on this result, also the result uh, answering the objective of the research, but uh, lack of uh, research analysis. Author only mentioned the survey based on the leaders in the uh, banking se sector. It is too general to conclude the result. Uh, author, author also mentioned about uh, the main bank strategy, but what are the bank uh, things of uh, this research? Next, we go to the basic implication of the research. First, the implication to public policy making. To prioritize the development of education and training program, to adapt to the changing technology landscape. This is a complex and intensive process, which is it needs more support, supportive evidence and clearer methodology to doing it. Also, to revise regulatory framework to accommodate the changing technology landscape, particularly in areas such as data privacy and cybersecurity, it will require a long journey for the collaboration between regulators financial institution and also other stakeholders. This leadership 4.0 will give a better customer experience and improve access to the financial service. However, it's required financial literacy and also edu education for the public, which is it will, will be bring dangerous to the peoples that doesn't have the strong financial basis. Also not highlight here, this leadership 4.0 have potentially lead to the job displacement. This may be have negative implication for the affected individuals and also the families. And also the most negative impact on cybersecurity threat towards the public like data driven and transparency. It may lead into some recent issue we heard about the scammers of all of the things. Next, we see about the practicality on application of this leadership 4.0 towards the economy and the commercials. Yes, it may improve the performance and productivity on the financial industry, but it's only if the model implement comprehensively. As for now, leadership 4.0 is still lack of understanding of the model and lack of the skill and really important to have competency required to implement these models. Also, if to apply this, it leads into the concentration of economic power in few dominant technology or companies that's already dominate into this IT sector, AI technology like Microsoft or Accenture as examples. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mohd Amirul. Um, I will be criticizing on the presentation of the article. Okay, first um, uh, criteria of the article in terms of organization and arrangement. Uh, this article has a clear and actually well organized because um, the introduction provides a brief overview of the topic and sets the content uh, of context of the article. Uh, it gives the comprehensive analysis of uh, existing research and theories on the impact of uh, IR 4.0 on the banking industry. Uh, the authors also uh, have proposed a new leadership model based on their analysis and they conclude by summarizing their key findings and suggesting future research directions. Uh, this article also has a, uh, is uh, clear and concise because they have provided the relevant and up-to-date sources to support their argument and also providing um, examples to illustrate their point, for example, in the uh, continuous learning with Maybank's future ready, uh, for example. Um, and then the headings and subheadings to break up the text, uh, it is made more accessible to readers. Thirdly, they, uh, the article also a practical and useful framework because uh, it is useful for a bank to adopt the changes brought by IR 4.0 and the clear recommendation on how banks can adopt these new technologies and develop a customer-centric approach to remain competitive in the industry. However, in terms of the empirical data, this article seems to lack of uh, empirical data because uh, it's supposed to have more empirical evidence to support the author's claim. Uh, this will also can help to further strengthen the argument and uh, they may also consider including the case studies or examples of bank that has successfully adopted the proposed leadership model to provide more concrete evidence of this effectiveness. Um, in second category, in, in terms of the style of writing, uh, they use the expository style of writing. Um, they wrote about future banking industry in the expository manner uh, to explain and share information on the impact of R4.0 in banking industry. Um, uh, they support the empirical evidence with other research, not theirs. Okay, and then in terms of their language use, they use a simple English, but so easy for readers to understand overall. But in some paragraphs, the elaboration is too long, uh, causing uh, readers to uh, divert the, the focus. And then um, in terms of clarity, sometimes they use the fancy words, but minimal. And the authors fail to briefly explain on terms such as big data, internet of things in the article. So uh, this is not a common knowledge for everybody. Uh, so it's supposed to uh, in, include some definition on that terms. Thank you. Okay, for this comment part, we'll be looking at how this article can help us to understand our current cost much more. Through the Industrial Revolution 4.0, the technological advancements changes the current landscape of the banking industry, which is part of the financial institution. We can also see how the digital era, which also will impact financial markets. For this article, we focus more on the leadership model, which in this banking industry through the adoption of new technologies and how can an effective leadership can influence this financial institution in the digital era. Overall, this article is trying to connect the three major topics, which is the financial institution, industrial revolution 4.0, and leadership. By doing so, it can actually help us to learn the leadership model and also how this model works in the financial institution and what we can do at the higher level, which is the decision-making level. However, in this article, you can see that the linkage between the leadership and financial institution or the Industrial Revolution 4.0 not clearly demonstrated in this write-up and it requires much more data to support their leadership 4.0 model which was proposed because it's quite generic and it lacks uniqueness to both financial institution or industrial revolution 4.0. More research and concrete data need to be gathered before this could be the complete outcome. Thank you.